So you've decided to start playing Overwatch. Congratulations. Unfortunately, you're terrible. Bummer. Uh, we are here to help you through the mires of this very complicated game with four very easy characters to learn and play as and maybe uh, kill a few guys. First up, Soldier76. If you played a Call of Duty game or anything like that, uh, this is going to feel extremely familiar to you. You got this assault rifle. Shoots fast, reloads fast, you point it at guys and you shoot and they generally go down reasonably quickly. Not great range, but if you know how to keep on target, you should be able to get a few kills without too much difficulty. Soldier 76 also has a sprint, which is really handy to get to objectives quickly. You move a lot faster than most characters and you can pretty much use it whenever you want. There's no cooldown at all. Once you get to the objective, you've got, wait for it, a rocket launcher. Really good for taking out snipers as I did just there. Or if you've done some damage to a character already and you want to finish him off, bam, rocket launcher to the face. Also really good for big guys. Again, just laying on that damage. Get your head down. So even with all this offense, Soldier 76 is actually really good at support as well. Um, in this case, I can heal a group just by dropping that device. Or if I get super aggressive like I did here, I can back up, go around a corner, drop my device, and heal myself. I'm saving myself from dying there. Last benefit of Soldier 76, his super ability, which basically is perfect for people that cannot aim. Uh, all you have to do is put someone in the large circle and shoot and they will die. So that's Soldier 76. If you played a recent shooter game, you should feel right at home here. Very easy starting character. Next up, we have Lucio, a healing character. Unlike most healing characters, he is insanely easy to use because all you need to do is stand next to people and you will heal them. You can see me healing people right now. I am literally doing nothing. I am just standing around. If you're looking to give people a little bit more of a boost, you can use this turn it up ability, which actually increases the healing quite a bit. In addition to healing, Lucio also has this speed boost, which increases your run speed. It's actually even better if you're standing next to people because it'll speed them up and you can boost them even further with your turn it up ability, getting to objectives super quick. Now you'll notice I haven't talked about any of the guns here. Uh, Lucio's gun, this sound gun, is pretty awful. You might get a few kills here and there. He's got this blast attack, which I'm gonna get a kill with right here. But more often than not, it sort of looks like this, AKA a lot of missing. Uh, it's really tough to get kills. I would not be super aggressive playing as this character. Unless you just used your super, which actually adds a shield to you and everyone around you. In that case, you can be a little more aggressive with this gun. It'll still take a while to kill someone, but you've got uh, way more health. And you can see I just crushed this sniper. They're pretty bad, but still. So that's Lucio. Very easy to use healer. You just stand there, you heal people. It is helpful in every single team layout. You really can't go wrong with him. Very easy to learn, very easy to master, and everyone will thank you for being there. Third on the list of easy to learn characters is Roadhog, this giant man beast thing from the apocalypse. He's got a giant shotgun, which is really good up close, as shotguns tend to be up close. Um, if you find yourself at range, you can use this hook, which brings people right in range of your shotgun, very handy. And sometimes you might find yourself getting a little more aggressive than you'd like, uh, in this case, I was kind of in deep trouble, but thankfully Roadhog has a self-heal. He takes a bite out of that apple gas can thing and he's all good to go. That healing is actually really handy. In this case, I just pop behind cover, heal up, and then I bounce back in, doing damage all the time. There's really no downtime for Roadhog because that heal recharges so quickly. Unfortunately, one of the downsides of Roadhog is that he's extremely slow. You can see him here just plodding along, moving extremely slow. There's no way to pick that up. With that in mind, it's generally best to go behind their defenses and flank them. Here I was able to take out their healer just by getting around that shield and do some extra damage. So it's really important you use a little bit of strategy when you're Roadhog because he's so slow. That being said, when you do get to an objective, you can generally hold it down for quite a while because he has so much health. It's really going to be tough for anyone running in to take him out. I say, well, most anyone, generally guys with giant hammers kind of fare a little bit better. If you do find yourself in that situation, use Roadhog Super. It's kind of insane up close. I got a quad kill there and you can use it to shove guys away from you, in which case you can sometimes push them into holes like this guy. That was awesome. Uh, I really like Roadhog. He's got a ton of health. He's able to heal himself. He's got that hook to take guys at range. 
There's just a lot of options that you have when you're playing as him. I really dig him. Even for new players, it's generally pretty easy to pick him up and uh, have a lot of fun with him. Our last recommended character is Torbjorn, who is a dwarf. Uh, he's very good at building turrets. And the good thing about turrets is that they require no skill at all. They will just fire at things. You don't need to aim. They will just do all the damage. You just sit back and enjoy. Here you can see me getting a couple kills. There's really no effort here. I'm just standing back. Now the turret gets blown up, but there's really no harm by me, and I can just build another one. In this case, there's a really long range kill that I absolutely wouldn't have gotten ordinarily. Turret makes short work of him. Turrets are fantastic for guarding objectives. In this case, we're trying to guard this final objective in an escort match, and they literally can't punch through. You can see a guy comes in with a giant hammer, I'm fighting him, but the turret's still doing damage, still protecting the environment, still protecting the objective. It's pretty dynamite, really easy to do well, and here I've used my super, which actually increases the turret's damage. Another interesting tactic we can use is in an escort mission, if you're on offense, you can just stick a turret on top of the car. Something to keep in mind though, the gun of Torbjorn is absolutely terrible. Do not use it. Unless you've used your super, which actually increases the gun's damage just a little bit, but ordinarily it is awful. One final feature of Torbjorn, he can collect scrap, which I did there, uh, and throw it at people and it'll actually increase their armor. So that's really handy if you're playing more of a support role. Overall, Torbjorn is actually kind of a complicated character insofar as you're managing scrap and turrets and variety of other things. But what's good about it is that you really don't need to be good at aiming. His gun is so terrible that you should really only be using turrets aggressively anyway. So if you're bad at aiming and you like playing objectives, this is a really good class for you and pretty easy to pick up, especially for newcomers to shooters. So there you have it, four characters for you to try out. Pretty easy characters, especially for people that haven't played Overwatch at all. Obviously, other characters have strengths and weaknesses that make them better or worse in certain circumstances, but these guys will work in just about any map you're playing, just so long as you know how to play them, which now you do.